hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video as you can see from the title i am doing a wayfair couch review i am super super excited because i haven't had a couch this whole time that i've lived here and you guys don't know but i did move in the summer summer just ended so give me some time but um i have barely anything in my apartment besides whatever's in my room okay that's a lot i do have a dining room table and some things I put out here, but I don't have, I didn't have a couch and I didn't have a TV stand or I don't still, but yeah. So uh, I wanted to put a little video review out on my couch. I don't know if this video is something y'all really will care about, but I know when I was looking for a couch because this is my first time looking for a couch, you know, me adulting, <laughs> um, I was definitely lost, confused, didn't know what I wanted didn't know any sizes measurements fabrics just how i wanted it to look or anything so i definitely went to youtube because that was my little best friend and i searched up some videos that i found that were a little bit helpful so i wanted to kind of put my experience with wayfair and my couch because i do love this couch that i got and just make a little video for you guys so if you guys want to know more about my couch and all that fun stuff and all the extra little information just please keep on watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down i don't care just do something please anyways yeah so keep on watching and i will see you guys in the next clip to the app this couch that i got was called the Adomus 104 inches wide left hand facing sofa and chase with ottoman by Red Barrel Studio. Fabric is white. I'm just gonna put a clip on the side of my beautiful couch. I am honestly in love with it. I was very, very nervous when I ordered it because like I said, I don't know anything about couches. I actually went to the real furniture store just so I could feel materials and get pictures of sizing. Like I was doing that all for my process of ordering it online. Okay. I ordered this couch on the 29th and got it on the 9th. So that may seem like a while, but that was like what, 10 days? When it, but originally I was supposed to get it on the 4th. So it was only supposed to take a couple of days, really like a week max. But what had happened was when I ordered it, there was an estimated delivery date and it was between the 1st and the 9th. I got it on the 4th. There was also an estimated time delivery. It was a four hour gap of when they were gonna come. And it was like nine to like, to 12 or something. I'm not gonna lie, I sleep a lot and I don't be waking up before 12. I think that was my issue because I had gotten a missed call when they were supposed to deliver my couch and I never answered the phone call. I was asleep. So they only called me one time though. I'll say that, they only called me one time. I had missed it and they ended up going, continuing on their route. And of course, when I called back, they're like, we can't come back. You gotta have to wait. The next availability is on Saturday, which was like four days away. And I was like, oh my God, now I gotta wait. Like I was so excited for my couch. You know like, how excited you get for something to come the next day and then you gotta wait even longer. Like it's right there and then you gotta wait. That's how it felt, whatever. So I had to wait. That's why it took so long, but it really, the shipping wasn't that bad. And they were cool about me missing it. They were like, we'll just come, you know, as they should though, because I did pay for it. But yeah, so the couch itself, was $869, which when I saw, I was like, okay, that's not bad at all because couches like this that I was looking at in the furniture store were like two bands. And I was like, um, I don't, I have it, but I'm not trying to drop it on the couch. You feel me? So I was like, $869 is not bad. There was shipping, which was an additional $119 and then tax, which was $82, making my total to be $1,072. Which again was like, uh, I thought it was gonna be 800, but then it comes out to being a thousand. But then I was like, okay, it's not really that bad. I also paid for warranty and I paid for assembly for them to build it. I don't know where it is showing on my invoice, but I know I paid for it. So 869, but 
Oh, I paid for the protection plan, which was $75.99, just in case something happens, because this is my first couch, and just like how everyone's gonna say, oh, you're buying a white couch, you're gonna get it dirty, da 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 I don't have no kids running around here, it's just me and my roommate, so, you know, we're, we're good, we're good. If anything were to happen, it'd probably be like a little stain. Their protection plan is really, really good. It's for accident and um, malfunction coverage, so stains or chips, they got you. Fast repairs, zero deductibles. Um, it's coverage for any other malfunctions, like if the seam is separated. Fast replacements with free shipments, 24 seven customer support and easy online claims. So I don't know, for my first couch, I was like, why not? I think there was an option for a three year and a five year. I think I just did a three year because this isn't gonna be like my forever couch. Um, but I feel like I will keep it for like a year or two. Honestly, this is a very good beginner couch for me. Um, my, what I really wanted in hopes of the couch was I wanted comfortability for sure. Like I, I really did want it for the look too. I do want a sleek, pretty, cute couch that, you know, that could fit my aesthetic that I'm trying to go for. And you know, I just like to be clean and have like all white kind of. I feel like that makes things look really sleek and classy and, and really cute. That or like all black, like my room is like all black, but like the outside, you know, I like how my, the way my balcony, my building is set up. I get really, really good sunlight in here. So I just wanted everything to be glowy and it just look really, really nice. It's foam inside, but it is a cotton like material on top. Um, it is four seats, I guess. I said seating capacity three, but girl, you could fit a lot of people on this because what I like about the the chase, I really love because I wanted something that was comfortable. I wanted both. I wanted comfortability and I wanted style. I feel like I just couldn't pick one or the other. And I don't think anyone should have to. I don't think you should pick a comfortable couch that you don't think looks, you know, cute. And I don't think you should pick a really, really cute couch that you don't feel like is comfortable because I have people like my family back home, we have a we have a really nice, beautiful couch, but it's it's very hard on the side, and it's got the little arms, and it's wood on top, and it's just not something I want to take a nap on. And that was my thing. I like to sleep. I appreciate my sleep, and I listen to my body, and I want something very comfortable in my own home. So yeah, um, I fell in love with the photo because it also has a bunch of these little like. What's those things called? Oh, it had a nail head trim, which I thought makes it really cute because it just adds like a little bit of sparkle or silver, you know, to it. Um, so I'll just read some of the things on my phone that I can't remember the top of my head, but Sofa and Chase, L-shaped. It's reversible, which I do like um, the ottoman that could be placed in the middle. Um, I don't have a coffee table at the moment. and I don't know if I want to get one but just because my living room isn't too, too big, and my couch isn't really too big, I feel like it's a perfect size couch. You guys will kind of see how it's displayed, but what I love about the ottoman is I can move it in the middle if I want and have people lay their feet on it. Like, I really don't care. I know for a fact I'm always gonna be on the chase part because um, it's comfortable and I want my guests to be comfortable too. Um, and I like how the ottoman I could either have in the middle as like a temporary little coffee table and, and you know put something on it like books or my laptop. And then I also like how I can put it on the other side kind of creating another L shape. Uh, just because then you know anyone can lay on that side and this side, someone can sit in the middle. Uh, what I've been doing lately though is because I've just been you know chilling by myself is I've been putting the ottoman, squishing it towards the L shape, the chase and having kind of like a block of a bed, which I also really wanted just in case I do have guests come over and you know, they want to take a nap or they want to spend the night and I don't want them in my bed. They could sleep right there. I feel like it's kind of like a all for one. So I really feel like my money was worth it. I, w I honestly didn't mind paying a, a thousand dollars. Like I felt like that was nothing for the, the couch that I like for my first time. Um, the cushions are kind of like this is kind of what, you know, I could just show you right now since I'm right here. It's really simple. It's soft. I like it. It's very, very, very comfortable. You know, you could place it here like on, and when I seen them build it, I could have really just built it myself. I feel like I already have tried it with assembling Ikea pieces. I was not going to try it with Wayfair because I can't even go to the Wayfair building and be like, I messed up because I did that with my Ikea dressers. Um, 
I bought two of them and I had to build it myself. And of course I did it, but there's always like some sort of mistake that I'll make. Plus it's just a lot of labor for me. I could do it, but I had the money to pay for assembly and I think it was like a hundred dollars. So I was like, why not? Like, I'm not even sure. I think it was like 80 bucks to be real. Maybe 80 or a hundred. It's just not showing up on my own thing, but really let me just see if I could just fake buy it again. Damn, they're all sold out. Ain't that crazy? Back in stock by November 7. Oops. Damn, sorry guys. But um, hopefully in November, if you guys see this, you could get it. But um, what I do like is they have this couch in different colors. Like they had it in an ash gray, brown, burgundy, red, dark blue, a gray, light gray, sea blue, white. Of course I got white. <clears throat> my next option probably would have been a gray, but a lot of my things, like I have a dining room set from Wayfair and it's actually all glass, but the legs are white and the chairs are white. So I was like, I need to kind of match this. I want to match it. The order process was not bad at all. Honestly, it took me the longest because I'm so indecisive and Wayfair has a million, millions of options of couches. They have a million things of everything. Like, yo, you're bound to find something that you like on that website. And I really wish they knew I was talking about them this good because they could really be paying me right now. But, or sending me some free furniture or something. Like a girl still needs a coffee table and some more plants up in here because I like my little plant aesthetic. Um, what I did like is the couch did come with these. I mean, what I did like, it came with the pillows, these pillows. I don't think I'm gonna keep them, but they're here for right now just because I don't have anything else. And I added these little purple ones because I've been had these pillows since like I first moved out here and have just been taking them everywhere I moved to. Um, they're not gonna stay either, but they were just sitting in my closet and I needed, you know, I wanted to put an extra, you know, it's like a little pop of color and I needed the extra pillow because I didn't like the pillows by itself. I'm gonna get some new ones soon when I have time to really drop a bag on some home decor. So we're gonna wait. What I've been hearing though is Wayfair's um, customer service is really, really great. They respond back very quickly. They make sure that everything is proper. Even the, the people who were assembling my couch, they were really sweet. Um, they wanted to they did it in like 10 minutes too like it was so quick i'm so glad i paid that extra because it probably would have taken me like an hour or two to even do it the whole experience with them i really did it like i enjoyed they were very nice they made sure i was taken care of like the people delivery wise i didn't get it damaged or anything at all the ordering process was very easy them delivering it and um, assembling it was pretty easy and all i had to do was just kind of sit down and enjoy it so I did have to measure my apartment though, just to make sure that it was a good size. So with these measurements, I will probably just add it down below the link just in case I miss anything, but I'll try to say some things on here. There's a lot of measurements, honestly, like this whole thing is 70 inches. Oh wait, this whole thing is 104 inches. Then the height of it is 35 inches. So there is a lot of measurements that um, I can't, I'm probably gonna just add a picture or the link to it, but just said 104 inches and that was really like the whole length of it, which I was worried about. I wanted to make sure it fit really, really good and I felt like that was perfect for my living room. So yeah, I feel like the only tip I would give you guys is just make sure you measure your um, living room. I didn't even have a measuring tape. I used my <coughs> MacBook laptop because I knew it was 12 inches. So I just kept picking it up and folding it just to get it. But you gotta work with what you gotta do. Now I have a toolbox with a measuring tape. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't miss anything important or valuable. I probably did because sometimes I just be talking and I don't really like, I just, I just be talking and I be <clears throat> jumping from topic to topic to topic, which is kind of like my problem, but it makes me interesting, so. Uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys want any other videos like this. I mean, I'm not getting that much furniture, but I did actually just order a TV stand, which I'm about to put right in front of where I'd be filming. So in my living room, 
um, and kind of just slowly get my apartment together. It's also gonna be from Wayfair. And I'm actually pretty excited for it because I've been dying to just chill on the couch. I chill here with like my laptop and stuff, but once I really get my TV stand, I'm gonna just buy a TV right quick from Best Buy or something, pop it on there, and it'll really be a vibe in here because um, my little Wayfair TV stand got some lights and everything, so I'm very, very excited. So yeah, so anyways, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to say it one more time because I really want you guys to. And give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.